Hello and welcome to the Studer Micro Series presentation here at NAB 2016. My name is Richard Mawson and I'm a product manager for Studer. I'd like to take the next 10 minutes or so to talk to you about some of the new products we're working on currently. While Harman prides itself on driving innovation, we also value customer feedback, which is why we're previewing this technology here at the show, to find out from you, the end user, what your thoughts and suggestions are. With that in mind, we would really value your feedback after the presentation. So what is the Micro Series? The original criteria behind this project was to design a compact, budget-friendly radio console. However, we soon realised that the core technology lends itself to much more than that, as you'll see later in the presentation. The Micro Series consists of three components which you can see on the screen. In the centre we have the Micro Core. The Micro Core is a rugged 3RU fanless design with integrated I.O., DSP and control system. The control application is hosted by a web server within the core. Then on the right hand side we have the graphical user interface. The Micro Core can be controlled via an intuitive virtual surface which allows access to every feature and function. Any tablet, laptop or desktop device with a web browser supporting HTML5 can connect to the core's own internal Wi-Fi router or via the LAN port. As mentioned previously, the GUI is hosted via a web server in the core itself. There's no need to install any software on any of the controlling devices. Simply open up your web browser, enter the IP address of the core and the GUI appears. It's also possible to connect a touchscreen, keyboard and mouse directly to the core itself for local standalone control. Then finally over on the left hand side of the screen we have the micro fader controller. This is a highly simplified six fader surface offering only the necessary controls for live operation. Two controllers can be attached to a single core for a maximum surface size of 12 faders. So let's take a closer look at the core. The micro core features a plethora of I.O. We have four HQ mic line inputs and these are the same high quality inputs that we feature on the On Air 1500, the Compact Stage Box and Vista 1 consoles. We have eight line inputs. We also have two AES pairs of I.O. with sample rate conversion on the inputs. We have 12 line outputs and also a feature which has caught most people's attention here at the show are the eight audio over IP Dante inputs and outputs. There's also a discrete DJ and guest headphone output on quarter inch jacks and we also feature two USB playback and record ports. There are also a large number of DSP related functions and features. 12 fully loaded FAT input channels which can be mono or stereo in any combination and feature a 4 band parametric EQ, 2 band filter, compressor, gate and deesser on every channel. The voice mix auto mixer is available for all mono channels. This is the same highly acclaimed algorithm used on our flagship on air and vista consoles. The console is able to detect when a relevant signal is present on an input and automatically opens the fader. When there's no signal it automatically closes. There are two independent stereo lexicon effects engines for chorus, delay and reverb effects. We have stereo program and record buses. There is also four stereo sends which can be configured as AUX or N-1 as required. We have brick wall limiters on every output. There's also input and output routing available. And lastly, discrete USB stereo track and jingle players. The track player allows the user to create and control simple automation playlists played back from media stored on an external drive. The jingle player allows instant playback of source material from a connected USB device, such as station idents and sound effects. There are also some useful additional connections on the core. There's an external redundant 12 volt DC power inlet so that the core can be powered from a battery which makes it very mobile. There is a dedicated word clock input and output connection. The core can also be synchronized to the AES or Dante inputs if needed. There are 12 general purpose inputs and outputs for remote control of external devices such as red lights and automation playback systems. There's USB and HDMI for the connection of a local keyboard, mouse and screen for standalone operation. 
We've included a local area network connection which can be used as an alternative if the internal Wi-Fi router can't be used for some reason. And lastly, there are two dedicated Power over Ethernet ports for connection to the micro fader modules. So now let's take a look at the micro fader. The micro core is completely controllable from the software GUI. However, the market research we carried out clearly showed that a software-only surface for live-to-air applications would not be acceptable. Live DJs and engineers often feel their way around the surface like a concert pianist plays the piano, navigating by touch while they're talking with a guest or reading a cue or news report. In this respect, the tactile surface is absolutely necessary. That said, while on air, a DJ rarely adjusts any other parameters than fader levels. Other channel parameters like EQ and dynamics are adjusted in a less time critical manner and as such are less reliant on tactile controls. With those two things in mind, a very simplified tactile surface has been designed, with only the necessary controls for live operation included. Up to two of the fader modules shown here can be connected to the core to provide 12 physical faders. The Surface module features a USB charging port and holder for a tablet device and PoE for control and power. The last part of the Micro Series ecosystem is the graphical user interface. The GUI is divided into three layers. The operation layer, the options layer and the configuration layer. There are user privileges to lock out access to the options and configuration layer. The operation layer shown here only contains the controls needed while on air, following a similar design ethos to the physical surface. What the DJ doesn't use simply gets in the way. This is another view available in the operations layer. Here we can see the internal automation playout system and jingle player on the left, the on-air clock, recorder and snapshot controls in the centre, and the metering and monitoring controls on the right. The options layer provides a very simple overview of each channel, allowing the user to activate or bypass DSP features and configure bus routing. Here you can see the input channel options page. And here we have the output bus options page, which allows the operator to very quickly see what inputs are routed to each bus and change bus routing if needed. It's also possible to see the physical outputs which are associated with each output bus. The configuration layer offers higher level control of the DSP functions, providing access via multi-touch interfaces for quick and easy manipulation of parameters like EQ and dynamics using standard touchscreen gestures with intuitive node-based displays. Simply touch and drag the nodes to adjust the DSP parameters. The configuration layer also provides access to the deeper configuration and setup controls. These parameters and controls are not included on the operation layer. Again, only the controls needed for live operation are included on the operation layer. Here you can see the bus config page which allows the user to see in one quick glance all the physical outputs that are available on the core and the internal sources which are patched to them. So now that you're all familiar with the components, functions and features, I'm sure many of you are seeing other potential areas where the micro series would be well suited. We'd be very interested to hear your ideas on this subject. Here are some of the key areas we've identified. On air. As I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, the micro series was initially designed as a budget friendly compact radio console. I'm sure you'll agree that it has a rich feature set that lends itself perfectly to on air applications. Production console. A standalone micro core is a perfect solution for production studios. In these environments, a physical surface is not essential and the micro core can be controlled completely from the graphical user interface. This makes things far more cost effective. Additionally, the voice mix, internal effects, and integrated USB recorder mean that the productions can be made with just the core, no need for additional DAWs. Remote broadcast. For remote broadcast situations, the web-based control implementation of the micro core gives great flexibility. All you need is a network connection to the core for full control and a transport medium for your audio which could be taken care of with the integrated audio over IP. 
Imagine a radio OB where the DJ simply takes his iPad out into the field and has control of the studio console as if he was back at the station. Conversely, the microcore could also be sent out into the field and used as a remote stage box. With the integrated internal mixer, zero latency monitoring mixes could be created and controlled by the engineer on site, while the core could simultaneously be controlled by the operators back in the studio. ENGs and DSNGs. The external DC power inlet and compact rugged form factor make the micro core a great choice for mobile situations. Having the option to run the core either with physical faders or virtually gives additional flexibility when space is at a premium. Features like voice mix also make the operator's life easier. And lastly, backup console. As the micro core is a fully featured console with a small footprint, it makes it the perfect choice as a backup console. Nobody wants to take up too much space for a console they hope they'll never use. The micro core gives them the features they need to run a show without taking up the space of a traditional console. With the DC power, it's also well suited as a backup console for OBs. So with that, all that remains is for me to say thank you for your time. I hope you have a great NAB 2016.